John Pertwee's The Day of the Daleks, they'd been off the air for quite a few years, a small number of years really, uh, when they came back in Day of the Daleks, but for me and my friends, they'd been off the air since since time immemorial. So I remember we were excited all day about that story. And I remember being faintly disappointed when I saw it because I didn't think the Daleks were in it enough. But now looking at it, I think it's one of the best made, best rounded stories Doctor Who's done. One of the interesting things about Day of the Daleks, of course, is that there's a time travel conundrum that people travelling from the future in order to avert their own future simply confirmed it simply covered it in layers of concrete, which I thought was a mind-expanding idea as a kid. I'm sure it had a, a long-term influence on how I uh, managed Doctor Who all these years later. You went back to change history, but you didn't change anything. You became a part of it. Um, it was a very good bit of reasoning from the Doctor, I thought, or a good bit of story reasoning, the Doctor says. You can't do anything except confirm the cycle. You are part of this planet's history. I am not. I can change it, which I thought was was neat, that sort of almost defined him. I am a time traveller, I am from outside of time, therefore I can make a difference and you cannot. That was handy get out, I thought. He's not part of events, in effect. A hand wave I've used myself. You're trapped in a temporal paradox. Styles didn't cause that explosion and start the wars. You did it yourselves. It's a really clever yarn. It's, it's got an idea and it's got a reversal um, and it's got the Ogrons, which were cracking, and I think it's a very, very fine story indeed.